know, I do like Australia. Like, for the most part, Australia is very cool. There's still a little bit of a homophobia thing going on, which would be cool to kind of sort out. Like, the whole gay marriage debate. It's like, it's one of those debates I can't believe we actually need to have, you know? It's like, should Jews be allowed access to healthcare? <laughs> <laughs> The answer is yes, by the way. <laughs> I know Australians sometimes get confused about which groups deserve basic human rights. <laughs> yes, yes, they do. Like, there's so many stupid arguments here against homophobia. Like, oh, it's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. But it's not. It is Adam and Steve because Adam and Eve didn't exist. And Adam and Steve are real people. They, they, they live in St Kilda and have a cute dog. <laughs> I keep trying to come out as gay, but I've, I make the mistake of doing it on Facebook, and then everyone just assumes I'm being status raped. It's like, no, I genuinely like big cocks up my ass, and I was like, ah, I shouldn't have left your account logged in. <laughs> this is really hard for me, come on. But fighting, fighting homophobia, it's like, it's kind of like trying to strangle like a 300 pound obese guy to death, you know? It's like, you know you're eventually going to win the fight, but it's just so tiring, you have to kind of <laughs> keep stopping and taking breaks and then going back and... Uh, and it's just too exhausting, you know? There's, there are still some weird bigotries here, like this phrase, boat people, I keep hearing, we've heard of immigrants. That kind of blows my mind. I'm going to try an experiment now. I'm going to be silent for about 30 seconds. I'd like everyone here to write some stand-up comedy in your heads about white Australians referring to immigrants as boat people. Away you go. <laughs> How are we doing there? Any good punchline screens? <laughs> what might a British comedian say about white Australians referring to immigrants as boat people? <laughs> but uh, following everything I've said about like forgiveness and anger and stuff, like I find it for some reason, I find it more hard to forgive people that have affected me personally. Like, on a cultural level, like, bigotry is one of the things that kind of makes me too angry to be funny about, you know? Like, I kind of learned the hard way people don't come to gigs to just be yelled at by a British guy, you know? Like, <laughs> I still have to be funny at some point. But it's, it's hard, but I, I, wa I want to be able to, you know? I want to be able to restrain my anger enough that I can relate to bigoted people and maybe make them laugh, maybe make a little bit of psychological change. But it's a very hard thing to do because I end up just being like yelling guy. And one of the things that inspired me was I saw a Q&A show a few months ago with Penny Wong and she was being interviewed about gay marriage. She gave this amazing gracious response. I've actually got this written down and I, I want to share it with you. I, I've transcribed this exactly from the, from the clip on YouTube. but um, so there's a question from the audience, and the, que okay, the question is for Joe Hockey, so it starts, my question is for Joe Hockey. Joe, I'm a little confused, because earlier you said that all Australians are equal, but on Friday you said that you wouldn't vote for marriage equality because you believe that children deserve a mother and a father. So I'm wondering if you could tell us why you think you and Melissa make better parents than Penny and Sophie. So Joe Hockey responds by saying, I don't necessarily believe we make better parents because we're male and female. I must confess my view has changed since I've had children. And that's very hard for a lot of my friends, whether they be heterosexual or gay. They hold the same view as you. But I think in this life we've got to aspire to give our children the very best circumstances. And that's to have a mother and a father. And I'm not saying that gay parents are any lesser parents, but I am being asked to legislate in favour of something that I believe to be the best outcome for a child. So Penny Wong's response is this. Well, there's almost nothing I can say. I think the first logical point is marriage has generally not been prerequisite for children. So I don't think the logical position holds. But just from a values perspective, it is sad, I think, that some families feel they have to justify who they are. Because when you say those things, Joe, what you're saying to not just me, but people like me, is the most important thing in our lives, which is the people we love, is somehow less good, less valued. And if you believe that, you believe that but I have a different view. And then the presenter asks, is it hurtful? And Penny Wong replies, of course it is. But you know, I know what my family is worth. And that struck me as this amazingly kind of gracious and restrained way to kind of respond to that kind of bigotry. And I wish I could do that. Like, I, I wanna be able to be funny about that kind of thing. But like, I know 
if I was gay and someone like made those kind of implications about my family, I'd just be like, so, so what did you say? No, no, what, what, what did you say about my kids? Hey, no, no, come, what did you say about my kids? No, no, look at me. Well, what are you saying about the value of family? Let's talk about that. No, look at me, I don't care if I'm hurting you. I don't want to hear about your kids. <laughs> look at me in the eye. Come on, let's be honest. Let's have an honest discussion, an honest exchange of views. Look at me in the eye. Look at me in the eye now. Tell me what you think. <laughs> look at me in the eye. Say faggots shouldn't have children. Say it. <laughs> Say faggots shouldn't have children. Say it! <laughs> Say faggots shouldn't have children! Say it, you fucking dishonest piece of shit! Fucking say it! Just be fucking honest for once and say what you fucking.